Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this dragon scale bracelet. I think they look so cool. Here, I have one in white, but I'm gonna show you how to make it in these rainbow colors. Of course, you can choose any other color you prefer because there's so many possibilities. For this bracelet, you only need one row of pins from your rainbow loom, a hook, four C or S clips, and a bunch of loom bands in rainbow colors and more info on how many in the description. If you're right-handed, make sure the opening of the pins are to your right. And if you're left-handed, then it's the other way around. Grab your first band. Here, I'm grabbing the color red and I'm starting on this pin. You can also start on any other pin, it doesn't really matter. Put your band around the first pin and stretch it onto the pin next to it. Make sure it's in the shape of an eight and turn it away from you. It is very important that you turn it into the eight shape away from you. Make sure to skip this pin before you add the next band. So we'll start on this pin. Again, put your band on the pin, stretch it and turn it away from you into the shape of an eight. And then you can go ahead and continue this. So skip one pin, add a band to the next two pins in the shape of an eight away from you. Skip another pin, add a band in the shape of an eight away from you. It's as simple as that. And once you've done it four times, this is how it should look. And now we'll work on the second layer and we'll be filling up the gaps on this one. So grab a band and shape it into an eight. Put it on the two pins that don't have a band between them. So in a way here, we're filling in a gap. Then skip the next pin and add a band in the shape of an eight. Turn it away from you between the pins that don't have a band between them yet. Do that for the third time. And now you filled up all the gaps. But I like to add an extra band all the way at the end because this bracelet is eight bands wide. So I put four bands on the bottom layer and now four bands on the second layer. So you can add more bands per layer or use less depending on how wide or slim you want your bracelet to be. Now we'll start to hook. So grab your hook and pay attention to this. You can tell that this pin only has one band on it and this pin has two. So stick to this rule. On every pin that has two bands, hook the bottom band to the top. On the next one, grab the bottom band and hook it over the top and continue to the end of the row. Sometimes you'll come across a pin that only has one band attached to it. When that happens, just skip it. So we'll just keep on hooking the band to the top. Use the hook to grab the band and move it over the top of the pin and work all the way to the end. As you can see here, there's only one band around this last pin, so this one will skip. Now, push all the bands down like this, because this way it's easier to hook the next layer. For the third layer, I'm using the color red again. We started on the first pin on the first layer, then on the second layer, we started on the second pin. So now we're going back to the first pin again. So you basically switch from starting from the first pin and then the second pin on every single layer. From now on, you don't have to make eight shapes anymore. So just grab your first band and stretch it over the first two pins, like this. Then grab your next band, skip a pin and add it to the next two pins, like this. So now grab your third band, skip a pin again. So you start on the pin next to that and you just stretch it over those two pins. Skip another pin and add your fourth and last band. Now in total, you've added four bands to this layer and this is enough because we're adding only four bands per layer. Now we'll start to hook again. So grab your hook and stick to the same rule I mentioned earlier. Every pin that has two bands on it, grab the bottom band with your hook and hook it over the top of the pin. Continue to do this until you reach the end of the row. And as you can see here, on the very last pin, there's only one band. So make sure you skip that one. Now push down the bands again. Then we'll add the fourth layer, which is still red. But what if you forgot what pin you should start on? I'll show you a trick. To find out where you need to start, make sure you're looking at your loom from the top and stretch out the bands like this. As you can see, I have a band that stretches between these two pins, but no bands between these two pins. So this is where we need to add our bands for the next layer. It's basically just filling up the gaps. I see that I need to start on this pin, so I'm grabbing my first band and stretching it between these two pins. And I continue to do this until I added a total of four bands to this layer. 
Now, we'll start to hook again. I think you know how to do it now. Remember to skip the pins that only have one band on them. And the pins that have two bands, you grab the bottom one and hook it over the top of the pin. Like this. Keep going until the end of the row. We've added four layers of red, so now I'm gonna start using orange, and I'll add four layers of orange before I start on the next color. And this is what the bracelet looks like now. And what if you don't know how long you want your bracelet to be? Then use your wrist to measure if you should make it longer, like this. Now we need to finish the bracelet so that it won't fall apart. That's pretty important. Grab the outer end of one side, take the band off the pin, and then fold it onto the pin next to it, like so. Now go all the way to the other side of your bracelet and grab the band and fold it over the pin next to it, like you see. Here. Now grab the band on this pin. I'm using my hook because it's easier to grab hold of it this way. Take the band off of the pin and move it onto the pin next to it. Now these two are attached to each other. Leave that pin be and go over to the pin to the right. Go ahead and grab this rubber band, take it off the pin and move it over to the right. As you can see, it was a little bit hard because I was trying to be careful. But make sure you carefully place the band on top of this pin with another rubber band. Then move over to the right of that. Then there's one more band left to do. You can move this one over to the left or the right. It really doesn't matter. I chose to move it over to the pin to the left, so the outer ends of the bracelet will be more balanced this way. It is still not safe to take the bracelet off of the loom. It will fall apart. First, we need to add C or S clips. So grab your clip and grab your hook so you can stretch out the bands. That way, it's easier to add your clip. Here you can see I have a C clip. Again, it's okay to use an S clip. Push the opening of your clip onto the band and then it's attached. Now I'm going to add clips to the next pins that have bands on them. Make sure your clip covers all of the bands that are on the same pin. This is very important. Stretch it. Add the clip like you see here and repeat it with the next two. I have another trick to make it a bit easier. Grab your C or S clip and place it so that the opening of the clip is aiming upwards, as you can see here. Mine automatically got into this position, so that saves me some work. It even happened on the next one for me. On the last pin, I needed to adjust the pin, so I did. If you do this, it's just so much easier to attach the other end of your bracelet to the clips. There are no set rules for this step, but just pick out four places on the other end of your bracelet where you want to attach it to the clips. I'm picking a band here that already kind of sticks out, and I'm stretching it. We'll move it over to the very first pin. And like I said, it's super easy to do this because the opening of the clip is aiming upwards. All you have to do is push it in. Now I'm going to find another spot to attach the clip to. Again, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Then I place it over my second C-clip. I push it into the C-clip and then it's attached. We've done this for two clips, so go ahead and do this with the other two clips as well. And now it's safe to take the bracelet off the loom. Yay! So, just grab one side and take it off the pin carefully. Then grab the rest of the bands and take them off the pin one by one. It's best to do this slow and carefully because you don't want all your hard work to go to waste. Now the bracelet is officially finished and this is how it looks. Let me see how it looks on my wrist. As I said in the beginning of this video, there are so many possibilities with this bracelet. You can make horizontal stripes, vertical stripes, diagonal, zigzag, different colors. The sky is the limit. As you can see, it really looks like you have dragon scales. And I think it's such a cool bracelet. 
I hope this tutorial was helpful. Go ahead and be creative with this design. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.